Welcome back, Rob from MyPPCTraining.com. And in today's video, I'm going to walk you through how Google works with responsive AdWords ads and how we can throw in some call-only ads to get even a, a, a sharper edge over our competition. Okay, guys, so today we are going to go over responsive ads in AdWords and how we can uh, make some tweaks to that. First things first, let's go into the campaign we want to be working in. For us, that's our white label PPC campaign. And then you come up here to your navigation. We are going to go to the ad group level, campaign ad group level. So we're going to take this piece by piece and go down into each ad group. Go into your ad group, come up here to ads and extensions, and you'll see we have all of our ads right here. First thing first, you want to see if these are responsive, and they I'm going to tell you right now, they already are. <laughs> I know, big shocker. Google's pretty smart, though, so we'll see what that looks like. Go into text ad. You can see right here, we're and we're just creating a new ad. This is the, Google already took what we have and made it responsive. And if you toggle over here, you can see what it looks like on desktop. As far as responsiveness goes they know exactly what they're doing so we don't have to do anything with that now if you want to get a little crazy there's a better way you can do it and I I always throw one or two of these into each ad group normally just because um sometimes they do really well sometimes they don't it's just something that you got to test for yourself it's really hit or miss with with us at least is call only ads now these ads are they're gonna be click to call there is no website that it's going to it's going to pop up on mobile with a little phone here. If and somebody clicks it, it auto, automatically dials your number, which is pretty powerful. I don't have to tell you that. So easy to set up, business name, phone number. Now, one point that's very, very important. The phone number that you use for your click-to-call ad must be somewhere on the verification URL. If it's not, your ad will get disapproved by Google. I cannot stress that enough. And people always like, oh, man, my ads are my, – nothing's getting approved. It's because you have to have – the number that you're using on the actual landing page where where Google can crawl and make sure that it's not some spammy fake phone number okay so business name phone number description and and uh, I would recommend when you're doing the call only ads heavy heavy CTAs uh, maybe some some kind of special hook to call 10% off 15% off whatever free quote free consultation whatever niche you're in you, you know how it goes you can think of something so description one, description two, display URL, verification URL, call reporting. Yes, you want to turn that on. If you hover over that, shows detailed information about calls you've received. Pretty self-explanatory stuff. Count calls as ad extension call conversion, or you can go into manage conversions and create, you know, call uh, call only ad conversion. You can make you can make the conversion whatever you want. You can call it whatever you want. If, so if you want to do that, you can just go into your conversions and do that. It's really, it's really easy. And um, for now, we'll just leave ad extension call. That's what Google suggests. And then you would hit save, and that's it. And now you have a call-only ad running against your text and mobile ads in your ad groups. Pretty powerful stuff. I highly recommend you test it out. So if you have any questions about call-only ads or mobile responsiveness in AdWords, drop the drop your question in the comments below this video make sure you subscribe to our channel really important that you give me a thumbs up I really appreciate that and I love when you guys share the links too that's it really it helps the channel so it's all good everyone wins and make sure that you check out the links in the description I put some cool stuff in there for you